Mr. Oketel, representative in Cameroon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. You still have enough? I see those people there. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, without much ado, I would like to ask you all again to stand up, please. We're going to have the national anthem of Cameroon. Thank you, please. That's it.
beautiful people. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a beautiful night to go. For those who are coming in, have a seat. The table is all open. You don't have to look. Sit wherever you're comfortable. For tonight, there are going to be a few housekeeping activities. For those of you who drink and feel like I'm taking it out, five right rooms to my left, well, Designated. Those of you who feel like they have drunk enough and they can't go home, when you get out of here, you make a left, there's a holiday inn, you don't have to drive too far. All is in the house. My brothers and sisters, at this juncture, before we proceed to prayers, I would like the president of Bogolea USA, Washington DC metropolitan area, Mr. Piper to introduce Dr. Pooh. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, uh, I would like to apologize for the delay. Alright? Um, we will proceed uh, quickly. We do have um, our official installation this evening. So, uh, at this time, I would like to call on the members of my cabinet. Um, the Vice President is here. The Vice President, can you please come forward? Uh, this is Christine Nicoy. I have the General Secretary, Vene Bayo Gassam. The Vice Secretary is, is, uh, is our town, but his name is Jules Picoy. <laughs> this is not the name of our town. I just wanted to let you know. Uh, the Treasurer, Joseph Poon, please come here. The Vice Treasurer, uh, Daniel Nunai Gansi. Financial Secretary, Mrs. Mood and Vish Masanu. <laughs> Councillor, Alice Gobok.
not just yourself, but your children and grandchildren to recover their roots. Because every tree which wants to go higher should have the roots very deep, deep, deep in the sun. And I hope that you will be the roots to elevate the Basambo people. I know you have the will for that. I know you have the power for that. I know your, the country that hosts you is a country where every dream becomes possible. The current president said, yes, we can. And I know you can make the Basar people a great, great people in the Cameroonian territory. Because we are in around 10% of the Cameroonian territory. We are a united people. At least we should be united. If we were not, from now on, we should be united. And this night, one of you, every one of you, should go and say, we friends together, and as we coming to you, the dream is coming true. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for receiving us. Thank you, Mr. President. I came with my wife, and we didn't know what we would find here. And we'll go and tell the people that couldn't come here that we saw a real will of Basa people arising. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. President. If I please applaud. Thank you, thank you.
I've not been like this last 30 years. Okay. <laughs> so you're liking too much. How do you feel? Yeah? How do you feel receiving the decoration I from Of course. From whom? Yeah. You want me to say something from home? Yeah. I love everybody over there. Yeah. The best wishes are everybody at the back home.
when I was growing up as a young man, I uh, attended the seminary with the hope that someday I would, come, I would become a preacher, a Roman Catholic priest. And I fell miserably. Huh? I'm not a preacher. But people who know me know that anytime I'm going, going to speak, I tend to give long speech. Huh? Because I, I always have put my passion in everything that I do. So tonight, uh, just to make it short, I did prepare a written statement and I will deliver it and it will be quick. It's because it's late and then allow everybody to, to eat. Okay? So, once again, uh, on behalf of the Berkeley Yard Cultural Association, I would like to express my profound gratitude to you uh, for attending this inaugural celebration honoring Berkeley Yard here in the United States of America. Um, it is so good to have our leadership team here, uh, our president, CEO, and chairman, Mr. Jerome Lane and his beautiful wife, Dr. Sarah Milady, and our general secretary, and then you can remember. And as you know, uh, they all travel from Cameroon uh, to preside this inaugural celebration. And on behalf of our team here in the USA, we are grateful for you and for your work. Thank you very much. Mr. We are blessed again, once again, to have Mr. Jerome Milen and Mr. Nyona in our midst. We are thankful for their knowledge, um, expertise, and time that they have devoted for the benefit of others and to make our association grow. As we say, to whom much is given, much is expected. We thank them for the way they are giving back to their community. Thank you very much. Brothers and sisters, um, what is Bobby Yard and why are we here tonight? Bobby Yard is a group of communities, namely the Bassa, Pati, and Bo, that originated from the Bobby Tuba stone or the Bobby Tuba cave. So I'm not going to give you a a history lesson here about our people because it's, I cannot, it's above my pay grade. But the only thing that I can tell you about that is that the book, the Yabat Sabati book, we all originated from Gauri Tuba. Okay? So the sons and daughters of these communities, we are scattered through four regions in Cameroon, including the littoral, center south, and southwest. The goal, of this association um, is to bring these communities together to promote our culture and to foster unity among us. Most of you have traveled thousands of miles away to come to Washington, D.C. And I, I don't believe you came here to sample our, our, our food that we have there. It is delicious, by the way. Or to have fun. We are here to organize. We are here to find a way to empower our communities. We are here to promote the interests of our people. That's what the local here is all about. It's not a political movement. Because when people come together, flowers always flourish, and the air is rich with the aroma of a new spring. And I smell that aroma here tonight. I think you do too. The Bible in Proverbs chapter 9 verse, 7, verse 10 says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But I submit to you my friends, the beginning of wisdom is to know who you are. I hope you will all agree with me that there is no other way to know who we are, where we come from, and where we are going other than the type of event we are hosting this evening. So my friend, we meet tonight at a crossroads, a point of decision. Shall we expand, be inclusive, find unity or do nothing? 
and suffer division and impotence. When I look around this room, I saw joy, people dancing around me. I saw ecstasy. Yes. I saw it. I saw jubilation. But I also remember one thing when I was growing up. My late father used to tell me, son, it is not how high you jump when you get happy. Yes. It's how straight you walk when your feet hit the ground. So my team, we celebrated. Everybody saw us jump. It doesn't count. What counts here is how we will conduct ourselves and how we we'll lead this movement. Amen. Okay? Amen. What is happening here tonight or in Washington DC this weekend is a step in the right direction. But again, we cannot do it alone. It takes two wings to fly. A bird needs two wings to fly. An airplane needs two wings to take off. We should all pull together. When we foster the bond of unity and common ground, we will have the power to bring about any development back home, medical assistance, educational assistance, you name it. Nothing will be above us. We can do it. And, and that, is, that is the attitude I want to instill. While I'm president, I will be president, I don't know, maybe one, two, three years, but this is the attitude I want to bring in this association. You come with me, let's do something. Development is about action. It's about action. Things that we can do, things that people can see and talk about. It is not talk. Talk is cheap. Okay? So, again, in 2007, a young senator, I am not by the, from Illinois, by the name of Pat Hussein Obama delivered a speech in New Hampshire in which he said the following. Please listen to me carefully. We made this job for a reason. It is humbling, but in my heart, I know you didn't come here just for me. You came here because you believe in what this country can be. In the face of war, you believe there can be peace. In the face of despair, you believe there can be hope. In the face of a politics that shuts you out, that told you to settle, that, is, that divides us for too long, you believe we can be one people, reaching for what is possible, building that more perfect union. That is the journey we are in today. I'm comparing that to what we are in today. Okay? We need to deliver. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to take the whole night with my speech, but I just want to emphasize on the importance of being here tonight. Again, I will repeat, what we are here tonight is to promote our culture, foster unity among us, and work for the common good of our people in Cameroon. One of Africa's great sons, the late Chinua Achille, a Nigerian novelist, poet, professor, and Tariq wrote the following in one of his novels entitled No Longer at Ease. We are strangers in this land. If good comes, may we have our own share. Amen? Amen. But if bad comes, let it go to the owners of the land. Because they know what God should be at peace. Okay? We are strangers in this land. If good comes, may we have our own share. If bad comes, let it go to the owners of the land because they know what God should be appeased. My friend, my brother and sister, I wish you a memorable journey in Washington, D.C. May God the Father be with you, God the Son protect you, and God the Holy Ghost be by your side. Thank you very much to the representative of, the, of our embassy here. Thank you all for coming, and I see other people sitting right there. My good friend, Gervais, thank you for coming.
Welcome to you all, and we got Bob Lia Cultural Association. Thank you all. Let's give it up one more time for Mr. Pai, please. Next allowance to receive a cat play, civil play, and petit for the poor of us. Next. Mr. President, General Schwab of Bach Lea, Mr. President of the local chapter. Members of the Barclay family, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I salute you. His Excellency Tundi, your ambassador here, who was recently appointed, has sent us here to represent him. I am Dr. Daniel and Mr. Lindsay. Who does not need any introduction? And Madame has seated there to my left. <laughs> the ambassador told me to salute you and said that what you are doing is a good thing because, just as your President General said, unity is strength. And from your strength, our country can grow in the strength of it. But he said that I should tell you people that the leadership you are inaugurating today will not be successful if those they are leading do not cooperate. If the leaders have to succeed, then you should be willing to follow them. And he said, I should tell the leadership that you will be criticized. And that if they don't criticize you, it means they don't like you. But he said, you should criticize them with love. Criticize them positively. And to all of us, he said, we have come to America. There are laws in this country that must be respected if we want to succeed. So he is calling on all of us to respect the laws of the land. And I will add that why don't we occupy this land? Why should we be always thinking that we are strangers here? This land in which we are standing also belongs to us. So when the good comes, we have a bigger share of the good. Yes. Let us participate in all aspects of life in this country. Why don't we belong to the local governments here, state governments here, and even the federal governments? We shouldn't consider ourselves all the time as strangers. Others who come from other African countries, I see them. When I move around, I see them. They are counselors. They're from the local government to the federal level. We shouldn't shy from there. We shouldn't shy. I think we should have our own share. If it's the local share, we get it. The regional share, we get it. The state share, we get it. The federal share, we get it. If we respect the laws, we play the game according to the rules, I think we shall get everything that we want. Ladies and gentlemen, I am hungry, and you are hungry. And so, let me end here. Thank you for inviting us, and God bless us all. Thank you, Mr. Daniel. Thank you. Please give it up for Mr. Daniel. And I've been set up, we're going to move right away. At this point in time, I'm going to call on our sister, Ms. Consuelos. Please come up front. Give it up for our sister here. She's going to lay the table to the dinner table. Will you please follow her? Yeah. 